Blessed is the Lord our God. Blessed is the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord.
Fathers, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Please take your seat. Sorry, that was the fourth thing I have it. That, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Oh, we all know that song, but with what an issue. And additionally, I have something that I want to share with you in the form of a letter from me. Some months ago, I had a meeting with a man in our congregation when in the course of our conversation, somehow the subject of retirement arose. While we did not have a lengthy discussion about it, he did offer some wonderful words of wisdom to me. He said, you will know when it is time. He was right, and it is time. On June 30th, 2020, I'm retiring from being your pastor. My last Sunday will be May 31st, 2020, the final Sunday in the month of May. Interestingly, my first Sunday with you was the final Sunday in May in 1990, 30 years to the weekend earlier. The next step is this. We have a wonderful system of ecclesiastical government in our denomination. In fact, I believe it's one of the hallmarks of Presbyterianism. We have a process in place by which a church makes its decision regarding a pastor's successor. Between the outgoing and the incoming pastors is a transition pastor. Our session has already created a transition pastor nominating committee. This committee's work will begin as soon as is practical following our congregation's receipt of this letter that I'm reading. It went out yesterday. The committee's first task will be to complete a denominational form that will contain a description of our church and her work. That document will then be made available for review by any men and women who might want to apply and interview to become Burt Storr's transition or interim pastor. A transition pastor will provide day-to-day -day leadership, especially in the hard work of a congregation-wide mission study. This study will include reviewing the life of our church, including but not limited to what she does best, where she could use some attention, what things need to remain the same, and what things need to be changed. This work will prepare the way for the pastor nominating committee to do its work, to bring before the congregation the name of the person whom you will elect to become your next pastor. Between the work of our session, the Transition Pastor Nominating Committee, the Pastor Nominating Committee, the Committee on Ministry of Peace River Presbytery and a gracious and loving God, sisters and brothers, our church is in good hands. Now then, I will not be retiring to nothing at all or even to perpetual yard work at Karen's and my houses. I won't take the time here to tell you the whole story, but I will become a chaplain with the organization which provides such services to the two sports car racing series in our nation, plus one venue in Canada. This will be the realization of a seed that was planted on Independence Day weekend 25 years ago, and I can't wait. <laughs> so with much emotion, which runs the gamut, I look forward excitedly to the years ahead. Yours and mine, I love you all. Sincerely, Tim. We've got six months to talk about all this stuff, so we don't, we're not going to do a Q&A session right now. You may have a question or two. I would love to tell you the story about what happened 25 years ago and what I've had buried away in my soul for, uh, for those 25 years, but now is not the time to do that. We will go to prayer. But I do have a request of you. When you leave this morning, you'll be encountering people who are coming in to worship. Don't say anything to them. Please don't do that. Give me the privilege of looking them in the faces just like I'm doing you and telling them myself. Please resist any temptation to tell anybody else who's coming in for worship, okay? Let's pray. Y'all make sure you have a good night's living.
get you all the angels free out there. Don't forget to sign your name so they can keep track of it. Also, uh, uh, what was I going to say? The other thing, what was it? Uh, poinsettias. Go ahead and uh, reserve a poinsettia for our Christmas programs. And you can do that by filling out what you just uh, got in your bulletin this morning. And receive God's benediction. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Serve each other. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.